Hello, my name is Gary Johnston and I'm a science teacher at Saigon South International School. And what I'm going to be doing today is showing you how to use the Autocrat document merge uh, script um, who was just recently demoed by Jay Atwood and developed by Tim Cargan and Andrew Stillman to help create a personalized report and uh, which I have right here. And this is a really handy tool, for example, if you're ever using like Google Forms for assessments, uh, which I often do. And so, for example, here's like a quiz that my students had uh, just today on water on Earth's surface water. And uh, there's a lot of multiple choice questions and, of course, uh, some, some checklists. And what I want to do is uh, not only grade it, uh, there's obviously um, some different ways to assess. So there's a great script called Fluberu, which if you haven't learned, is a great script that helps you kind of grade this. But what I'm really interested in doing is creating like a form that students can go back for a referral. And I think that's the downside of a lot of electronic sort of assessments is that, you know, students may have forgot what they got wrong and they, you know, might not remember um, what they did and they might want some sort of uh, document or something for reference if they're reviewing later. And so, just so this, this learning does not get lost in the fold, what I'd like to use Autocrat for is to merge information that they submitted here on their spreadsheet into a document that I've created here. So what they end up getting is a personalized form, and if you see this right here, um, this is just like my username, um, you see here a kind of a quiz report with what the student actually said and what the correct answer was. So this is really helpful um, if students are using, for example, forms for assessments and they want to go back and just look at, oh, that was the correct answer. And I think just this, this um, continued documentation just helps kind of reinforce that. So what I'm going to do is walk you through how to use um, the new version of Autocrat. And so here I have it right here, and you can see the new add-ons tab, uh, which is Dynamite, because previous add-ons that you use, I've already used Octopus, uh, are already there. So I've actually done this already, but I'm just going to walk you through uh, from the first, um, first step. So the first step in this is choosing a template that you want to use. And this is also a new feature, if you see here, right on the right side with Autocrat, as the window actually pops up on the, on the right side. And what I've done is I've already created a document here with some merge tags. So what I did was I went to the actual quiz that I assigned and I just copy and pasted everything. So I just like copy and pasted like this multiple choice question number one, two, all the way down to ten. Pop that in a Google Doc and then here what I did was I inserted some merge tags. So I've already done this and so this quiz report is here in a file um, in a folder here in my Google Drive and I think just a way to help you with organization is to make sure that all of your uh, documents, uh, spreadsheets are all in one easy to access uh, location. Uh, that's the one I'm going to use. If it isn't you can click that and hit add a template but I'm going to use that one and once I do that the little uh, sort of autocrat image starts popping up. So I'm just going to close this Maybe that'll speed things up. Okay. Uh, the next thing I want to do is map merge tags, and this one, this is considerably easier uh, than was done before. Whereas before, what you need to do is make sure that you copy and paste these merge tags in with these little carrot sticks on either side. And it's very similar this time. Uh, what it does is Autocrat just makes it a lot easier to map up the headings based on, um, based on what was done before. So if you look right here uh, with this tag and sheet header, you'll see there's like, for example, these like drop down boxes. So, you know, the first question here that I had in my quiz is based on the image below, what percentage of the world's uh, map is made for groundwater? And so I'm just going to drop down and make sure that I have those. These are all in order. And I'm just going to pop down here and make sure that these merge tags all line up. And five. Almost done. Six. Okay. So this is really easy. And everything that I have also is on sheet one. In this case, I only have just one sheet in the lower left hand corner, but if you have other sheets, you, know, you can pop down there. So uh, my username is, uh, if you see right here on the tag, this username here is going to help basically populate information from what the students have said here on the spreadsheet and populate that, populate that in here 
for a personalized sort of report. So I'm just going to double check that one more time. Uh, that looks pretty good. One, two, three, four. You know, I got all my ten questions. Great. Eight, nine, ten. And then uh, when I'm done, I hit that. I think I'm done, so I'm just going to close this. Okay. Now the merge settings are how do you actually want it uh, to be uh, sort of set up. And some of the questions you want to ask yourself are, for example, do you want this to be like a Google Doc? Um, I think one nice thing about um, using AutoCAD is a, a lot of teachers use it for a lot of different reasons. I know, for example, some teachers actually use it for summative assessments, and they like these files um, on file for you know student or parent-teacher conferences. But uh, for me, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to want to make this. I'm going to email it to the students and have them spend a few minutes over it, because uh, this is just a very foundational sort of understanding of water on Earth. And there's some larger sort of questions we're going to be looking at further on the unit. So this also does take a little bit of time. You see, it's a little bit slow. So I'm just going to close that, and uh, when I close that too, I can close that as well. Uh, now that I'm almost finished here, what I'm going to do is just take a look at this. And the file naming convention uh, that I want this to to say is I have a lot of freedom. But what I like to just do is I like to use a username. And in this case, the username is actually the email addresses of all the students because they had to log on with that username to do this quiz. So notice that the email or the username has this little dollar sign in the front. So I'm just going to say it's already done here, but I'll just show you how to do it if you didn't do it. You just copy and paste that in and give it some sort of title. So when the students can email notifications, it's going to say quiz report on water on earth, but then instead of the dollar sign with username, it'll have uh, their, their actual email address just so they, they know it's there. Uh, you can also choose to have a Google Doc or, uh, for example, a PDF. I'm just going to choose a Google Doc. I've already, I've already, edit, I've already made the email, but I'll just uh, edit this so you can take a look at it. The email is what do you actually want the body in the email to say. So as this is made, a personalized email will also be shot out. And I just have a little sort of generic email set up. So I said water, uh, you know, quiz results, water on earth. And also I have like this little dollar sign here. And um, it attaches your quiz results. I have inserted your responses to indicate the correct answer for your reference for review later. And then I have that. I just hit save. But I've already done this, so there's really nothing I need to do. Uh, if I need to edit it again, I can go back and do that. But uh, I'm just going to say save. I've already done this already. But now that I've done that, uh, this takes us to the final last step. And the run merge step is uh, what, uh, and this is kind of interesting also, I think before you run this the entire class, what you do is you preview it. And I've already previewed this, so you can actually see kind of like what it looks like. I didn't actually have the email. Um, I didn't actually have like the email set before. But if you click on this uh, hyperlink here, it'll actually take you to this that I've already had before. So once I run the merge, uh, it'll create a personalized response like this. Uh, as you see, uh, this one is just, I do this on myself. And when I work with Google Forms, I often i am the first person that submits a form response just so I can have an answer key uh, to serve as an anchor. So uh, what you see here is a personalized answer key with the correct answers, uh, what the student said. And this is how you can use Autocrat to create personalized reports. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot.